The Nintendo GameCube games might be coming to the Nintendo Switch library, and there is a possible leak of important information regarding the Nintendo Switch 2. What are those leaks? Well, stay tuned and find out. Welcome back to Ying Yang Teak, everyone, and today we're going to be talking about first the possibility of GameCube games coming into the Nintendo Switch Online library. There was actually a sp specific leak in which, on Twitter, this guy by the name of Nash Weedle, the analyst of leaks, actually got a leak saying that Nintendo seems to have GameCube emulation ready and recent updated a patent based on the system, which joins other recent patents on cube console control. And it goes further in that analyzation and the leak saying, in a game based system, according to a further embodiment, the game information storage medium contains at least two emulator programs, each of which correspondingly emulates two types of second game machines having different architectures from each other and from the architecture of the first game machine. The game selection program selects any of the emulator programs according to the game program of the game title selected by the player. So already from that paragraph that we saw, it's basically saying that they already are testing different emulations on the Nintendo Switch Online console. And not only that, that this actually is a hint that GameCube games might be involved in some other type of games as well. So, so far, the Nintendo Switch Online game library has NES, SNES, Nintendo 64, Nintendo Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games, and Sega Genesis. So, with all that library going on in streaming games on the Nintendo Switch Online library, one has to already think that the GameCube is the next game system that is going to be included in the Nintendo Switch Online library. But also take a look at what it was saying that uh, there are two types of emulation that they're working on. So that also means that there also could be another type of system that they're already working on, not only on this current Switch, but maybe on the Switch 2 coming up pretty soon. Now, the other type of emulation that I'm probably thinking is probably going to be another handheld. It could be the Nintendo DS. Can you imagine like Nintendo DS games coming to the Nintendo Switch 2 if accordingly from past leaks and some of the other leaks that they've been involved saying that there could be two screens on the Nintendo Switch 2. That's a rumor so far. Nothing is confirmed. But just think about the possibilities of just having a second screen on that it's almost like having a huge you know nintendo ds but it's almost like a switch as well that you can have games being played on right but that is right now what they're talking about so far that you know the gamecube games maybe some of the famous ones that right now they're getting too expensive that you can actually stream instead of buy i still don't like the streaming service at all because I kind of wish that you can actually own the game, like in past consoles where you can actually go to the eShop and buy them. But that's just my opinion, right? Now, the second story that actually came out from that same guy, the Nash Weedle, saying that the Nintendo Switch 2 developer kit receives an important update. Now the tools allow us to go one step further. I can confirm that the direct information of, from the developer it's not speculation and his opinion is that he thinks that the update is a reference to rescaling. So to get even more information about what they're talking about, I went to this article by the Nintendo Wire in which it said that the leaker, you know, which is Nash Weedle, who actually did talk about Metro Dread being one of the games that was going to be leaked that actually did come true, right? It basically said that he thinks that the Nintendo Switch 2 development kits can go even further beyond, kind of referencing from the Dragon Ball Z anime, by right? going into another level of power, kind of quoting what Goku said before he went Super Saiyan 3. It means that it's going to have a huge power and it's going to be a massive upgrade 
compared to the Switch, Switch Lite, or Switch OLED, in which right now they are just limited in power so far, and it's already going to their seventh year of existence. In his opinion, is saying that the Nintendo Switch 2 has a long been rumored a feature some sort of DLSS upscaling, bringing the console to the ability to upscale its visuals to 4K when docked, and if this update to the development kits enables the ability for developers to utilize that function, he would guess that that technically means that it is a step further or a level beyond. And going back to the Nintendo Switch 2 rumors, right? He also includes that it's important to note that this is all speculation so far. Whether he can go Super Saiyan or it has DLSS support or otherwise, the Switch 2 still hasn't been announced yet. There has only been rumors. These are just speculation so far. And that, of course, that the rumor is that the Nintendo Switch 2 is being delayed to 2025 and not coming this year in 2024. So you have to take it with a grain of salt and kind of lower the expectations and also put your expectations in check, right? Because we know that the Nintendo Switch 2, it's going to be something huge. We just have that feeling so far, especially now that we know that it's going to have a type of upgrade compared to the Nintendo Switch. Because we all know that looking at the rumors from credible sources that there is going to be a possibility, a high possibility or probability that this Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be backwards compatible. So that means that you, if you already have a library of games, of you know Nintendo Switch games, that it could be easily been used for the Nintendo Switch 2. Right, and it, going back to my old video saying that there could be different color cartridges, just like when they did with the Nintendo DS and the 3DS, that's also another possibility. But there is something that I do worry about that hopefully that Nintendo is not going to go totally digital, that they're still going to release physical games because physical media is important, especially for the player to know and feel that they actually own the game and they cannot take it away in a way from a you know for example like if a nintendo switch online game uh, from an nes n64 or snes or so on gets taken away you can't play it again right so for me it's all good information between the gamecube games coming into the nintendo switch and possibly nintendo switch 2 and then a possibility of another type of game system coming into the nintendo switch online library and that the development kits is going to be a level beyond before anything that is good news about the Switch 2. I just want to add that everything that you're seeing from any of the videos regarding Nintendo Switch 2 leaks and possibility of development kits or anything like that, just take it with a grain of salt. Take it all in as speculation, as rumors. Nothing is certain but it actually brings room for discussion because I want to know what you guys think that could be probable or could be a little far-fetched. That's what is awesome about reporting with these rumors of the Nintendo Switch 2 and other Nintendo related stories. So what about you guys? What do you guys think about this entire speculation from this leaker that did was correct about the Metroid Dread? Um, and Metroid Prime, but you know, again, take it with a grain of salt. What do you guys think? Write your comments below. And if you like the content of this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification so you know when future videos are available. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and again, stay awesome.